the wrestler gets all this acclaim. You can do any project you want. Why this project, Black Swan? Uh, it's always a hard question. I guess, you know, for me, when I develop projects, it's kind of like a marathon for the projects. Um, it always takes a long time to develop them, and the ones I keep coming back to, usually there's something in it, a character, a scene, something that I'm connected to or passionate about, and, um, you know, we just kept coming back to Black Swan. It just, it just, it just wouldn't go away, and that's how these things get made. I love the idea of basing a film on a ballet and turning it into a narrative and then just going for something really big and operatic and different and, and uh, you know, um, disturbing and mind-blowing and trippy and it's just sort of what I'm attracted to. I spent a lot of time in the world of ballet. It was a very hard world to penetrate. Normally, um, when you go to some type of universe and you say, hey, I'm, I want to make a movie, all the doors open up and you get full access. You go to the top of Notre Dame or wherever you want to go. And the ballet world kind of shrugged and didn't care. But we worked hard to sort of show them that we were trying to do something very, very different, not kind of a romantic comedy set in the ballet world or anything like that. And so it's slowly but surely the doors open. I spent a lot of time. I mean, what was interesting about ballet is that, you know, when you're in the audience, it looks effortless, you know, yet you have a 90-pound um, woman standing on two toes on a piece of wood with her leg up in the air spinning 10 times and they spend 20 years mastering their art to make it look invisible what they're doing. So as a filmmaker, it, it's a, it became a challenge. How am I going to show all the pain and, uh, and trial and tribulations of these athletes?